In this song, we've got a minor, G, C, and F. So let's start off with a verse. So this isn't too complicated. We're playing on the one and the and on beat one. And then for beats two to four, we're just playing on the and. And we're playing each chord for one bar. So counting along, this is gonna look like this. One and two and three and four and 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 that's all there is to it So moving on to the pre-chorus, our chord progression this time is F, G, A minor, then G. So in this one we're playing each chord for one bar, same as the verse, and we're going to play on the one and the two, then in the third and fourth beats we're going to play on the beat and the end. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four, and switch chords. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, Three and four and that's all there is to it. Moving on to the chorus. We're now back to our same chord progression as in the verse with A minor, G, C, F. So what are we doing here? We're playing on the one, two, and the and of three, then four and, and then we switch chords. So that's going to look like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. Thank you. 
Now, finally, the bridge. So our chord progression for the bridge is the same as the verse in the chorus. A minor, G, C, F. But what I'm doing here is palm muting on the one and the and of each beat. Palm muting, if you don't know, is taking your palm, the side of it right there, and placing it right against the bridge of your guitar. So you're gonna put it right on there. So your goal is to get it so that it's not entirely muted, but it's also not totally open. You want a partially muted effect, which gives kind of an interesting sound, and this is a pretty common technique if you've never seen it before. And all we're gonna do is play on the beat and the and. So what that's gonna look like is this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if you've never done palm muting before, it's gonna take you a little bit to get the hang of, but once you do get the hang of it, it should be pretty easy to do, and it adds a nice effect to a lot of songs. And if you can play those four parts, you can